In today's video, we're gonna set up some margin combo classes to speed up developing websites in Webflow. My name is Kaler, and in this Webflow tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I set up my margin combo classes to easily reuse things like a block section throughout a website's development. So this is gonna hopefully speed up your Webflow process. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So to get started, I've set up a blank project with the portfolio template. So there's nothing in here besides this template. This is a free template to use. And I'm gonna start by creating some block content sections. So I'm just gonna hit Command K. I'm gonna grab a div, and then I'm gonna give this div a class of block section. Since this is going to be full width, we don't need to put it inside of any container. So it's gonna be standalone. And inside of that, I'm gonna have another div. And then I'll give it a class name of block wrapper. So if I expand that here on the left, we've got our section and then we have our wrapper inside of that. Inside of there, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're just gonna add a heading. And I'm gonna make that an H1. So we'll just leave that as is and center align that. I'm gonna grab the block section itself and add some padding. So I'm holding shift and alt as I drag on any one of these handles to add 60 padding all the way around this heading. Let's also give this a background color. So we'll fill that with blue. That looks pretty good. And then we'll also change our text to white. And I forgot to give this heading a class, so it just generated one for me. So we'll just leave that at heading for now. So this is our block section template we have this set up so we can copy and paste this and use this throughout this website so now that we have this I want to show you this really cool combo class technique for speeding up your development so the first thing I would do here is define the margin on this element so what is the default margin on all of these that are going to be used throughout the design in this case we're going to use 60 on the top and 60 on the bottom for pretty much all of our block sections. But of course, with any design, we're gonna have some variation with that. So we're gonna need to add some combo classes to remove those. So what I like to do with this first block section created is go ahead and add them and create them all right away. So the first thing is no margin at all. So we'll create a combo class called no margin, and then we'll define that as zero on the top and zero on the bottom. And if you're using margin on the left and the right, you can also define those as zero for this as well. Then we're just gonna click in here and hit backspace to remove that, and then we'll create another one. And this one is no margin top. And so we're gonna define that as zero only on the top. And then we can remove that one. And we'll call this one no margin bottom. And we'll go ahead and set that one up as well. So if I remove all those combo classes, anytime we click here in the class, we have all of these combo classes set up for us. So we can easily just add no margin if we want no margin or whatever we would like to add. So let's go ahead and add this block section into the design somewhere. I'm just gonna drag it above the contact section here. So that looks pretty good. I don't want this to have any margin, so I'm just gonna add that combo class. So we'll do that. And then we can copy and paste this and add this somewhere else into the design. But right here, the no margin isn't working very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that combo class. And we'll say no margin on the top. So we still want margin on the bottom, but none on the top. And from here, we can go ahead and add another combo class after we've defined the margin for this one and change whatever we want. So what if we want this to be large? Well, we can just add a combo class for large. And then from here, we can adjust this and make it unique. Maybe even change the background color. And all of our other block sections still look the same. But now we have a new class called large so we can update the text, add new elements. And it's a very quick way to define margin throughout your design for reoccurring elements. So to review, what I like to do is set up my element. So I've called this block section. I'm gonna reuse it throughout my entire website. Then I like to set up my combo classes for margin. So I define all margin, no margin top, no margin bottom. And then after that, I'll add my unique classes such as large or colored section to make each of these unique. So it's a pretty cool way to define margin and adjust elements quickly on the fly here in Webflow. Let me know what you guys think of setting up your combo classes like this, and let me know if you found this helpful down in the comments below. That's gonna do it for this Webflow tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Webflow-related content, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.